Hello every beshies, welcome back again to my channel. I'm so happy that you guys are still here supporting me even though I've been out for several days. And for today's comeback vlog, we're gonna go to a 36 kilometer land travel from the heart of Surigao City to Malimono and Mainit, Surigao del Norte. So buckle up everybody, because we're gonna have a roller coaster road trip as well as witnessing the beautiful and breathtaking views along the coast and above sloping steeps on high altitudes and the majestic Lake Mainit of Surigao del Norte. But of course, before I forget, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated on my latest uploads. Thank you! So by the way guys, we are now inside municipality of Malimuno. And as you can see, there are so much greenery and ocean blues that welcomed us from uphill and downhill, which is so relaxing amidst the 11 o'clock scorching hot sun. Additionally, the weather here is very cool and calm so you can't be bothered. We can able to witness a winding road cutting through rugged mountains on one side with sheer cliffs towering above and on the other side, the vast expanse of the ocean stretching out endlessly. You know, it feels like the road hugs the coastline, offering breathtaking views of the azure waters crashing against rocky shores. While we can see from afar the majestic peaks that loom in the distance, which create a picturesque and exhilarating journey for travelers. The municipality of Malimuno is located in the southwest part of the province of Surigao del Norte, and 36 kilometers from Surigao City. The terrain of the municipality is gently sloping to steeply from the lowland along the coast going to the eastern direction, which is mountainous. At this time guys, it's almost 12 o'clock. So now we are heading to our sister's house in Malimono for a pit stop because gigotom nami charis so nagdugo akong ba ba um english guys no <laughs> na na po mo ingon di na pa english english ang baya to bisaya ra di ay hey you know po butangan po na to english gamay atong video no kay for tourism purposes man siya mga besh <laughs> nakabisaya ko guys tungod kay gigotom nagyud kog ayo so tara mga una ta and tada we arrived already for lunch. Kay gutom na kayo mga besh mga on sa tak niya. Pag umang ko ni Wailingaw na ay ero nga guapa o di ba ka guapa sa breed. Sana o oh, may pang ero guapa bisan Wailigo. <laughs> Pero kiningayaw yaw bisan nung sanog ligo maot gyud. Charis. <laughs> So while our little girl is busy playing with her aunt and cousin, ang ulam namin dito besh is ginamos na no kos kung sabi saya pa niya parisan tayo ng cook da lamia oy. So ayan guys, after an hour of resting, ayan back to back back na naman kami. So mag English na po tabalik no para di tamatira dur. <laughs> Kasi maraming magagandang tanawin dito mga besh. Mapa English good ka sa kagwapa sa lugar. See? What a breathtaking view of a coastline. This is not California nor Miami Beach. This is our very own Surigao del Norte where you can witness a beautiful coastline where the land meets the sea in a dramatic collision of elements. Truly a realm of boundless beauty and mystery. Talking about mystery, you may wonder, what mystery lies in the municipality of Malimuno? So while on the road mga besh, I'm gonna share with you the upbringing or historical background of municipality of Malimuno. So even I myself got so curious, so let me share this with you. How Malimuno got its name is an oft-repeated story. Before the coming of the Americans, 
The West Coast town was a vast virgin forest covered by timber and ferns. It was told that some travelers passed by the seashore and saw a clear stream where they landed for their provisions of fresh water. Monkeys, as big as human beings, scampered to the reefs upon seeing the intruders. When darkness fell, however, the monkeys returned to steal food and personal belongings of the travelers. Because of this, the place was known as Malmons, which means bad monkey. Now, there was also another article I've read about the upbringing of this town, but it's quite similar to the latter. Legend has it that the name Malimono was derived from the Spanish word Malmono. One day, long time ago, the Spaniards visited the place. Feeling weary and tired, they took a rest by the side of a cool spring at the foot of the cone-shaped rock facing the Mindanao Sea, now called Punta Beach. While enjoying the tranquility of the place and soothing sea breeze, a smart giant monkey from the top of a lawaan tree jumped over and grabbed the provisions the Spaniards brought for themselves for that day. Well, quite smarter than the monkey and being worried of getting starved, the Spaniards engulfed with rage shouted at the top of their voices, Mal Mono. Since then, the place was named Malimono. Wow, that's quite a history of its name. History of a place really serves as a vital foundation for their understanding the present circumstances. It helps preserve its cultural identity and heritage and allows people to connect with their roots, traditions, and values. Malimono is truly a natural splendor that mesmerizes visitors and locals. And with the proximity of the Pacific Ocean, it boasts a captivating coastline adorned with golden sandy beaches, cliffs, and swaying coconut palms. Moreover, it has rich biodiversity which is a home to a diverse array of flora and fauna. Despite its natural beauty and cultural richness, Malimono retains a sense of serenity that allows visitors to escape the hustle and bustle of a modern life and reconnect with nature. We are now exiting the municipality of Malimono, and this path here will take us to another neighboring municipality of Maini, where we can able to see the majestic lake, and is one of the largest lakes in the Philippines. The road going there guys from here is quite steep because we're gonna be on high altitudes, so sit back and relax for our next destination.
in this moment, watching as the horizon meets the ocean symbolizes the endless possibilities and boundless potential that lie beyond the horizon. By watching here uphill, one can't help but feel a sense of peace, tranquility, and connection to the natural world. It's a timeless and universal experience that inspires contemplation, reflection, and appreciation for the beauty and wonder of the world we inhabit. witnessing the vast expanse of the ocean, now we're heading to Lake Mainit. And yes, while traveling there, I'm gonna share with you one of the fascinating legends associated with Mainit's Rigao del Norte, which revolves around the origin of its famous hot springs. According to local folklore, there was once a powerful and benevolent deity known as Magbabaya who roamed the lands of Mindanao. Legend has it that Magbabaya had a favorite spot where he would rest and rejuvenate after his long travels across the heavens. This spot was a tranquil valley surrounded by lush forests and rolling hills where a crystal clear lake lay hidden beneath the canopy of the trees. One day, as Magbabaya was resting in the valley, he accidentally dropped his magical staff into the waters of the lake. The staff, imbued with divine energy, sank deep into the earth, causing the ground to tremble and the waters of the lake to boil and bubble furiously. And when Magbabaya retrieved his staff from the depths of the lake, he discovered that the waters had been transformed into steaming hot springs. Delighted by this unexpected gift, Magbabaya declared the hot springs to be a sacred place where weary travelers could find solace and healing. And from that day forth, the hot springs of Mainit became known far and wide for their therapeutic properties, drawing visitors from near and far to bath in their warm, mineral-rich waters. Now the legend of Magbabaya and the creation of the hot springs remains deeply ingrained in the culture of Mainit Surigao del Norte, serving as a reminder of the town's mystical origins and the enduring power of nature's wonders. 